Developers say it's known for being fast and accurate, and it was created right in our backyard. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University teamed up with Pitt and UPMC to develop a rapid coronavirus test that could help control the spread of COVID-19 dramatically. Amy Wattis is live to explain how it works and when it will be available to the public. Amy. Christine, at 10 to 15 seconds, that's how fast these results will come in. And it all will come in with the help of your cell phone. It's a rapid test that could be a game changer in slowing the spread of COVID-19. And researchers in Pittsburgh have worked tirelessly to make this happen. Here's how it works. All the test would need is a very small drop of blood from a fingertip to identify two antibodies in the virus responsible for COVID-19. These antibodies can be detected at an extremely low level by a device as small as a quarter. It attaches to a dongle and results are sent in almost immediately through an app on a smartphone in about 10 to 15 seconds. Dr. Rahul Panad at CMU developed the test. If a liquid containing antibodies is introduced, the antibodies selectively bind to the antigens and change the electrical properties of the device. Get this, the device used for this test can be cleaned and reused multiple times. That would allow the same device to be used for 10 different samples and which would lower the cost significantly. Dr. Panat says it has a very low error rate because the reaction between the antibody and antigen in the device is highly selective, something Panat says will help to control the spread of COVID-19 even more. Then you can isolate patient, uh, people. You could even have uh, uh, you know, international travel. You are, you are in the immigration line. Um, your test comes in very quickly. Now, this rapid test has a provisional patent, and human trials will be taking place at UPMC in just a couple of weeks. Now, of course, it will be some time before these tests are available for us to use. Reporting live outside of Carnegie Mellon University in Oakland, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.